So first what we're going to do is we're going to get our application to call on this website and to basically sort of input what the user puts in to the website and then print out the information that the website gives it. So we're going to go to the products.wolframalpha.com slash API. And for me, I'm going to sign in, but you're, you're going to want to sign up. So I'll sign in. And we see here I have two apps. I have a test and I have PIDA. So what an app is, is it's just basically um, a certain code that the application has to put in so that you can use it. And you're not really supposed to share your app with other people, your app code with other people, but um, it's very important to your application. So I'm going to get an app ID, application name, let's say a tutorial, and then no description, I'll get the app ID. Oh, looks like description is required. So I'll say this is for a tutorial okay get the app ID and now I have this app ID right here that I can input in so when you create your app ID copy it and I'll see you in the next video okay so now that we know what Wolfram Alpha is how to use it and our app ID we are going to start embedding this into our Python application so first hopefully you already have pip and Wolfram Alpha, the API, installed. If not, you can go to the article tutorial that I have in my first section of this course. And let's just get right into it. So first, we're going to need to import the Wolfram Alpha API using import Wolfram Alpha. Okay, good. So now that we have Wolfram Alpha imported, what we're going to need to do is get input from the user. So we'll set a variable named input and set it equal to raw input and let's make the question question. And then after that the user would put in their question. Okay, great. Next what we want to do is we want to put in our app ID. And your app ID is private. The current app ID that I'm using now, I'll deactivate after I finish this video so you cannot use it. So this is our app ID right here. And you would just replace this string right here with your app ID, that the one that you that I showed you in the previous tutorial. Next, after that, we are going to create a client that is going to call on our app ID. So client equals Wolfram Alpha dot client and we'll set that equal to app ID. Great. So now that we have our client created, we're going to make sure that we print the results. So result is going to be equal to client dot query and the thing that we are going to be searching for is the input what the user put in and we see we declared that variable right there okay so we have the results ready all we need to do is put them in an answer so in this answer we're gonna make a variable called answer set it equal to next result dot results dot text to make sure that you know Wolfram Alpha doesn't give us a graph and that could create problems. And then after that we will just print the answer. Okay great, so now I'm going to pop up a new terminal window and I'm going to run our file, so python pyta.py and let's ask it a question. What is the meaning of life and you see, it gives us the same answer that it did in the video tutorial that I showed you on what we would be building. So that's really cool. You can already see that our application is coming together. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Also, click here to subscribe to my channel and click here to watch another related video. You can do this even if you're on mobile. It's a new kind of annotation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.